hello everyone welcome back today in the continuation of the lecture series on the apt connect enterprises we are going to discuss with the integration node or we can call it as a s node till the version 10 of the iib it is it is called as a iib node but after the 10th version that is the 11th version or 12th version the 12th version that we are going to cover in this series of the lecture which is the apt connect enterprises it is called as a ace node so we are going to uh, get a brief of the ace node because uh, the, uh, it is uh, mandatory or it is uh, important to uh, know about the what is S node and what are the components inside the S node like that the integration server application and the message flow because the totally work that we are going to do on the message flow so it is better to know what is message flow what is application and what is integration server and what is integration node so let's start it if you are talking about the broker broker is something like that uh, it is a uh, the initial uh, initial thing of uh, for that it can store the data it has capability to uh, transformation like like that it is the uh, pillar you can see that like that for the uh, all the applications after that it came at a integration server inside the broker inside the broker it has a came as an integration server and under that it came as a application and after that it come as a message flow if I simply define the message broker, then we can define it as a, a broker has a capability to enable a storage. Broker can enable the storage, can do transformation, can enrich the data flowing through the broker. The if any data is flowing through the broker, any message flowing through the broker, then broker has capability. It can some store the it can store the data. Uh, it can uh, in transform the data and in can make the enrichment the data and how can broker do broker does all the thing with the help of message flow because we create the flow inside the message flow we can do some transformation inside the message flow and this message flow is present inside the broker that's reason broker has a capacity because we define the storage capacity inside the broker and we define the <coughs> everything uh, the properties inside the broker and broker uh, basically uh, and the, inside the broker we have eg application and the message flow that they they can use the resource that present inside the broker okay the broker routes transform and manipulates the message according to the logic that is defining their message flow again this thing same what are the logic we have defined what are the logic we have uh, written in the message flow what are the code logic you have written in message flow these all thing uh, linked with the broker because broker is going to help that message flow because if uh, on, once message flow is going to deployed into this uh, apply <coughs> in this eg and this eg is present inside this uh, broker then this is going to use the resource of the broker okay hence it is totally dependent on the broker okay so once we have a integration node then we under the integration node we have multiple servers you can say that you can create multiple servers under each server we can have a multiple application under my application we can have a multiple message flow so I am going to uh, in the later section of this series I am going to create everything I am going to create the integration node I am going to create the integration server I am going to create the application and I am going to create the message flow everything I am going to create from a scratch so you don't need to uh, worry about it here I am going to give a brief only that so that you can understand in the later section if I am telling you the integration node or integration server or application or message flow so you don't uh, get surprised you what is this do you know just basic the integration node is the like that uh, uh, is a node which is uh, or you can say that in later section I, I also told that is a s node 
this node is a node which has a some uh, a storage capacity like that and transformation uh, can help in the transformation enrichment of data and it manipulates the data according to the logic defined in the message flow and inside the in, inside the integration node we used to create the integration server or we can we can we also call it as simply by the eg that is the execution group because earlier name what is earlier name till the version 18 it was the execution group after that it is named as a integration server i think it is the till 8 version it was or 9 version it, it was the execution group after 9 version it is named as an integration server then under the each integration server we have application and under application we used to define the message flow and the, again this message flow is present inside this application so we used to deploy the application inside the eg the, anyone saying where we deploy the message flow so we deploy the message flow inside the eg not the application because message flow is going to create inside the application and application is going to deploy into the eg the hence message flow we used to, used to deploy into the eg okay because we do not use to uh, deploy the message flow we used to deploy the application right or uh, application okay uh, this is all about the basic of the integration node or s node hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any doubt you can comment me you can drop me a mail to the learn and pass officer at the rate gmail.com thank you thank you all